Yes, great, great. I'm Carl Flink, and I'm the Artistic Director of Black Label Movement. Today we're going to be working on a piece that is being built from scratch. Um, it is going to be kind of examining the idea of an interrogation, uh, possibly a moment of torture. So it's going to be go to some maybe some rough places, and we'll see what happens. Great. OK, so continuing on with the idea that let's, let's say whoever that one person claps, the other person should be, should land on top of them. Okay. In case of Brian, if you're that person. Okay, we land. I'm gonna, we're gonna push, um, actually if Crystal and Pat, in this moment, if you could have um, a kind of, <laughs> some type of shock that okay. sends us, that gives us the cue, you okay? Yep, to, okay. Go, to, to go up. Yep, cue to go up. Then that sends us, I'm gonna push you this way, and then I'm going to come back to this person, and I'm going to try to stand on her thighs. Every one of the movers that you see in Black Label Movement are, are people who, when I first saw them as, as dancers or performers, I kind of responded to the fact that I saw them as a creature. The kind of mover that attracts me is a person who's very in contact with their inner animal, where I see an instinctive quality to their movement rather than one that's very head then do, head then do, that they're people who just do things. And the thing that we're, we're trying to find is a little bit of a sense of, yes, this is the central figure that we're kind of doing this around, but eventually it also becomes about the two people having their encounter with this person even leaving in some ways. Like, what is the tension between not only this trio, but these two people who are the questioners? I feel like the, the, the concept of dance <laughs> brings a lot of kind of social baggage with it. It evokes, you know, people in flowing gowns on point shoes or and and I want these people to be just kind of coming at this as a as a practice of movement. We're not trying to turn it into necessarily something that's specifically refined and crafted as dance, but is more just embraced as for the sheer movement of it. So, going from this idea of there's this really gentle soft Oh, I love your arm, it's so wonderful. And they're pulling it out. And then let's give them, so we get the tension on their body. Then we're gonna twist that hand up, slide down, put the hand in, and then torque it. When I'm working with the movers, I am fascinated in how that other body is processing the information I'm get, giving them. So I'm not looking to see what I had in my mind. I'm looking to say, here's a set of problems. How do you, how do you wrestle with it? And how do they then give that back to me? And I say, oh, I see. That's a direction I can go with your body. And I might have an idea, but the idea isn't tantamount. It's not the one that's trying to force them into a certain box. I'm allowing them to change my ideas. My initial physical training was as, a, was as an athlete. I was a very serious soccer player. And I, I'm very interested in the fact that in sports, hitting an impact and that kind of danger is very acceptable. It's part of the process. It's not from a macho standpoint, it's just part of the process of playing. And in the dance realm, in many areas, that's not an accepted part of this world. And so one of the things that Black Label is trying to do is bring that that kind of physical dialogue into the space safely. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota.